Everybody. So I'm back with another um, album kit that I've made up. The cute new um, Prima Fairy Rhymes collection just came out, and so I wanted to make a, an album out of that because I have the cutest pictures of my granddaughters with the little princess dresses on. I knew it would just be perfect, so I packaged everything up into a kit. So I just want to do a quick um, show you what I put into the kit for you, and you can purchase one in the store. So you get two sheets of eight sheets of paper. That way you can use the front and the back because they're so cute. So you're going to get this cute one with uh, it's Sweet Briar. It's got this great little fairy here on the corner. And it's also got these great um, banners up here at the top. And then the back has some pink dots. And this one's called Violet, and it again has a little um, girl over here with some flowers, and she's got a butterfly. And up in the corner, it's got a great um, bird. And I love that it's got the journaling um, lines on the front of the page. And then the back has some keys and this cute little butterfly and some tape up here at the top. This one's called Calladee, and she is a cute little girl there in the corner. She's got on a little flower hat, and she's also got a great bird up here in the corner. And it's got some um, measuring tape here on the side, and again, it has the journaling lines on the paper. And the back has some great, um, let's call it newsprint. Looks awesome. This one's called Periwinkle, and there's another girl there. And in the corner of this one, it's got a, a beautiful flower and a little butterfly. And then it's got this great frame inside here with the lines inside. And the back has this great, um, uh, let's call it damask um, paper there. And this one's called Secret Garden. And it's a great wood grain print. And it's got some small words written on it. And the back is this beautiful flower pr um, print. This one's called Papillion. And it's got some butterflies and little dots and some different colored swirled background. And then the back has some great um, stars and looks like fairy dust. And this one's called Fairy Collage. It's got some great journaling tags. You could put different things around on your album. And the back has some, um, looks like the pr it's got some chicken wire printed on it. It's got some numbers over here on the side and again some words and it's got a little um, stamped impression up here in the top corner. This one's called Fairy Song. And I love this right here in the middle. It says Fairy Whispers. It's awesome. And it's got some great pictures. Here's some butterflies. Here's another gorgeous butterfly. And the back has some different colored wood grain on it. So you get two of each of those eight sheets. You're going to get a 51-piece journaling spot stickers. It's really cute. Lots of different things in there. And this actually just came in after I'd made up the packet, so I threw that in. Then you're going to get a package of three of these white pretty flowers package of metal trinkets, the packet of wooden buttons, and they have different sayings and they're different colors, um, the wooden clothes pins, really cute, and there's eight of those, different sizes, a packet of 30 note cards, and there's five or six of each, or there's six designs, five per design, of different little note cards in there, a packet of Wazi tape, and I didn't actually use this in my book, but I know the leftover stuff is going to be great to make little pages out of or add to my snapbook. Some metal butterfly paper clips. And there's 12 of those on there. Um, you're going to get the 6x6 six six paper pad, so in case you want to make up some smaller pages or whatever on there. And I actually used it to do some journaling on there in my book. And you're going to get the 7 Gypsies 8-piece um, 5x7 vertical naked board book. And this actually will hang on one of their cute little stands. And I don't have that in the store, but if you want me to order one, if you order the kit, I'm more than happy to do that for you. I just don't want them hanging around in the store. So let me grab my little book. Pile this stuff over here so I don't drop it on the floor so I can put it back in the bag. So I've made up my little book. I need to get a little bit further away here. There, how's that? That's a little bit better. 
And so this is the front, and I've used one of the little tags here. Whoops, and it's obviously not flat. And this cute little tag says love, and I use my little girl here. And I, I actually, there's some stuff in here you're going to have to go to your own stash and, um, you know, get some more stuff out because I always add stuff, even though I have a great package of stuff. I added some stuff, so I went and found my Stampin' Up um, note card our notebook die and I cut out, fussy cut this girl out. I added some crystals up here I had in my stash and I had this flower in there but I think there's still a couple left in the store if you wanted to add this. It goes perfect with the paper and here's one of the white flowers that came in the packet and I actually added some glitter and stuff to some of these flowers in the background and I've sprayed the whole piece with some um, Tattered Angels gl glitter spray. And then we're going to flip it over. I hope we don't get the thing stuck on there. Oops. So that was the front, and then we're going to go to, let me turn it around, whoops, we're going to go to, this is the back of the front cover, and there's one of the pages with the great bird, and I put my two little grandbabies there in their little fairy dresses, and I've used a little paper clip, and then we're going to go to page three, and here I have used that great piece that says fairy whispers. And I've also distressed all the edges of all of my papers and embellishments with um, Walnut Stain Distress Ink. So this is my little Lexi. And I cut out a little um, tag here and printed her name on it with uh, My Favorite Things Die. And here's a butterfly from one of the sheets of paper. I've cut that out and then I've added some Spick of Glitter pin on top of him. So he's all glittery and sparkly. And this is a Tim Holtz... Um, edge die that I had, the butterflies there, and here's a piece of the, the paper that I just cut the corner out and so it's on top of um, the, pa the picture. And we'll flip that over. And then we got the back of that page, and here I've added a couple of flowers again for my stash, and they were they're in the store so you can pick those up too. Um, here's one of the cute little metal trinkets that says Dream, and it's just... I pulled this little bead off this flower and I stuck some glossy, I threaded my string through the bead and then I reattached it with some glossy accents so it stuck. Here's a piece of um, our fairy collage piece. I cut out the little fairy there so I could tuck it behind her. And there she is in her cute little ballerina outfit. And I used an edge punch down here on my favorite things to to cut out this little scallop. And we'll go over to the next page. And here we've got my little Natalie, and again I've used a My Favorite Things die tab to cut out this little thing I have her name on, and I've distressed all the edges, but here's a piece of flower, I cut off a piece of paper, and it's just over the top of her, and another butterfly that I've added some spica to, so it's all nice and glittery, and a few more of those fairy collage pictures that I cut out. And we'll get to the back. And then here on the back, we've got a piece of the paper with the girl on there. And then here are my little tag, which is another My Favorite Things die. I cut out a little tag and it says, look inside, so you can actually take my little um, envelope here. And I've, those, I just had in my stash, I went and found some. But I have a couple of little pictures in there, like here's one I'm trying to get her to smile. And so my head ended up in the picture, so of course we didn't have that one made up. But she looked so cute with a little smile there. So you can pull those out and check those out if you would so desire. And then let's flip it around here and go to this side. And here's one with my two girls together. And here's a piece of this corner of one of the pages. Totally cute. And then I used a die to cut out um, this little doily. And I love how they did this picture. It's black and white, but they popped out the yellow on each of their little outfits. And it says here on the little tag, which is a My Favorite Things die, it says, what's the matter? Because it looks like she's about to cry, and Natalie's looking at Lexi going, hey, why are you crying? Um, here's a flower from my stash, and then the little button came in the kit, but it says, um, I thought it was perfect because the little tag says, what's the matter? And this says, dear friend. And we'll flip it over. Oops, can I redo this page? Hmm. can't remember if I went that way or not. Okay, and then the back of that one has my little Lexi on there, and she's actually in a little purple outfit. So I went to my stash and I found this great purple flower, and those were in the store at one time. Nope, there's still some more left. And here's some more of those fairy collage paper that I just cut out and used them as backgrounds on my page. And then we'll flip it over. Here I've got both the girls and that piece with the great banner at the top, which I fussy cut out so it could actually be right here in the middle of my, of my book. 
and then it says too cute on my little tags and some more flowers both really cute and then we'll flip it over here and I've used a couple of my paper clips and my little piece of paper actually fell off so let me reattach that while I was playing with the book it unclipped it and I printed out this little poem about babies and grandparents and stuck it on there and here's one of the little cute little buttons so you could periodically if you wanted to you could trade this piece out and just stick it back onto your um, pieces there and then we're going to get to the back and here is the last page which got both my girls on there and again I used my Tim Holtz die over here and I put some pearls for my stash on the butterflies it's got both of the, the girls laying on the background there. And then for the back, I just, I didn't decorate the back. I just used the, the girl on the back and she is the decoration there. So that is my Prima Fairy Rhymes album. And if you would like to head over to the store and there's a link down in the description and pick this up, you just go to the Fairy Rhymes page and um, pick you up a kit and you can make your very own book. So thanks for looking. Have a great day. Bye.